Hello everyone, all the builders out there. Okay, uh, I installed this uh, tachometer on on the on the motor on the rotary switch, and uh, honestly, I'm not happy with it. And I'm gonna put the ad on it uh, where I purchased it from eBay, but uh, it was like fourteen dollars or fifteen dollars each. I ordered two. I'm gonna send the other one back. Yeah, uh, the processor is way too slow and you'll see it now in action, but the way I mount it, it it's a, a hole sensor type and it's got a, a magnet that detects the, the sensor and you got to align it and make sure that it's... Uh, I put the magnet here, I, I drill uh, on the fiberglass uh, piece, I, I drill uh, a hole in there and I sunk the magnet in there with uh, some uh, plastic glue from my gun and I just sink it in there it's fine and you can see the the sensor is working fine it's responding super fine it's, it's the processor on this thing that it's it's uh, it's kind of uh, very slow to react it's not a fast response uh, but anyways, for, for these purposes, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I just want to be able to record what is the speed the, more, the, the RPMs is going and that uh, boils down to frequency when, when I am uh, measuring the, the output coils and all that. Um, so it's kind of useful. It's, uh, you, you'll see it in action. I'm going to slow it. And you have to verify that it's working fine with the, with the handheld. It's, it's always good. I, I have these in, on the back of, of the motor, of the plate, of the same plate. I got a piece of uh, reflective tape. And it's always good to verify that this is very accurate uh, tool. But I, I, I can be with my hands putting in there, so I needed some tool that, that steady captures. And you'll see it right there. See right there, it's, well now it's, it's better. So, but after going 3,000, it it takes it a while to process the uh, There's a point that it goes blank. Well, now it's going 3,500. I guess it, it was uh, some adjustment that I had to do. You have to uh, make sure the sensor, the proximity of the sensor, and I couldn't go a in a straight angle because of the motor being here. And I didn't want to add any piece and make it bulky and put it in front here, the sensor because it, it, it'll be obstructing my way here. So I, I rather set it uh, in the back and have more room here for all the cables coming out and, and the adjustments I have. And I like to see the, the, the brush behavior and, and if there is any good contact here. So I, I wanna be able to see that. So I, I guess it's a perfect position. The magnet, it, it's a neo uh, and it kind of have a, but that's not the problem. The problem goes with the with the with the unit pro, uh, microprocessor. It's it's kind of slow response, but I don't care. It's uh it's fine as long as it's giving me the the right. I'll show you how I mount it. I mount it using the same uh, mounts, the, the same bolts that I had on the for the for the motor on this front part. And I, the, the way I always, when I have to build a, a part, I always make it in, in cardboard. And, and that way I can measure it and, and get the right size holes and everything. And then cut the, the metal plate. Just put it on top, mark it, mark the holes, and put it on top. And that way you can get the, the aluminum or, or, or steel or any, any metal, copper, any metal. 
and you make the plate and I just uh, bolt it on and in, in a way that I can adjust it. But here you can see that the, the sensor the sensor is working fine. It, it goes, it keeps dim and when the, the magnet comes in, it captures the, the signal. So it, it's fine. Uh, and I, I just want to, wanted to show the, the, that I have done it and uh, for anybody that is trying to get a commutator um, a rotary switch but I'm gonna put the the seller of these and the type of, of, of they, they, they come in green they come in red uh, LED and blue uh, it, you know but it, it doesn't matter the color the, the, the thing is a piece of crap and I, I do recommend that. Sometimes you gotta spend some little bit more money and get a better and more, more accurate machine uh, tool that, than that. Uh, it's too slow in response and I'm not happy with it. Anyways, thanks for watching.